Welcome back to Siri Exposing my people. You don't know we're gonna bring it to you live in PD7. This is our local network with Siri Exposing. But before we're gonna take some nasty old fountain. So yes, my people, the truth will reveal. So we have to show the world. Siri exposing. The truth will reveal. This is how it is still. This location, that is where a bridge have to build to connect the road. PD7 to Daily Seas. You can drive from Daily Seas to this area right there on the PD7 side. You can drive through it right there. As you can see, there is some little patch up that I have to do on the road, a little drainage, but you can drive all the way to this section from Daily Seas. And this section is Pinit 7. And this is where they have to build a bridge. And up till now, nothing can be done for this connection so our people could cross to go to Daily Seas, Live Ebla, Victoria Falls, or to Laplin. So PD7 got $92 million after the passage of Tropical Storm Erica in 2015. And the people are asking where is the money? Because they haven't seen anything that's been done for that kind of money they got. Because the housing in Bellevue will build with passport money they say. So where is that $92 million? People of PD7 need to know where is that money? Because they have been talking to me while they are waiting for their title in the meantime they don't want to be victimized so the pd7 people would like to know where is that 92 million dollars they got after erica for pd7 people 
So we are still in waiting of that bridge after five years. Nothing has been done. And under pressure, they actually came and finished the work which was started by a group of people from Dailies. Dailies. The truth will reveal. It has to reveal one day. Seven road, the pitted seven people have come together and decided they are going to patch the road in the village. And this is a very good idea they put together because they are living there, they are, they are the, the ones who are suffering. And I was speaking to some of them there, and they told me that tourists are still reaching in pitted seven going to Victoria Falls. So imagine the tourists are living down Rosso side because this side is closer, closer to the Lysses. So they are coming up there to pass through Pitted Seven to go to the Lysses and when they reach there, we don't have the bridge. So they have to go back down to Roseau to make all the way around through Procasi. So this is what we're talking about. This is the kind of things you have to put in place before tourists come to our country. All these soccer ways water that are running on the road. We need to fix them things there because what they see, that's what they're going to talk about when they go back to their country. So we need to organize all this stuff there, get the bridge done to connect Dailies and Pilit Savan. All the soccerways that, that are smelling around the country, get them fixed before tourists come to the country. We need to focus on that more than we focus on the vaccine. Yeah, these are kind of things we have to focus on. This, this, this is a priority because it will bring a bad image for our country out there when they return to their country. Not the vaccine is the soccer ways and our road condition. These are the kind of things we have to focus on right now to get back, get back on track. We have, to, we have to live in the positive. Conquer evil. So this is the condition of the road. They're trying their best. There's this area they put a little soil there still in the meantime because they are missing a lot of materials to get this side concrete. And as you can see, they stopped the concrete there. So they're trying their best to organize the road. So if you can help and you like to help a bag of cement or some tarish, you can always contact anybody who lives, who lives in Pilit Savan presently. And they can give you the contact because which I don't have presently on me. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so my people, every Sunday, they, they are going to be working on the Pilot Seven Road. Either casting, unblocking, taking out soil. So they just left. They just left. They were focusing on that side there today because they do not have cement to block holes. So if, if you want to help, you can just come up any Sunday. It's either you will meet them casting or taking out soil somewhere they find that it's too close up. So if you want to help, you know, just come to Pilit Savan or get in contact with any Pilit Savan person who live in Pilit Savan. Yeah, they need to get things going on. And every Sunday they will be doing something 
on the road. One or the other. So this is what we have for today. A little touch on page 7 to show you what's going on, what the people have come together to do. And this is a very good idea. So we have to join the world with it. So we have to show the world what is happening in page 7. The people are united and they are clearing up the road, trying to organize their road. And they want that connection bridge. They want that bridge. They want that bridge. And they want that bridge to connect page 7 and daily seas. They really in need of it and they want it. And the whole entire Dominica is in need of that road. So this is all we have for today's series exposing live in PD7. <laughs> Mr. Battle.